What's going on everybody? Do you guys like the new setup? I know I've made a video if you guys haven't checked that out where I rearranged my room, did my whole new setup thing. Still got to put some posters in the back, but it is what it is. Also, I got to figure out a better lighting situation. So yeah, anyways though, today we're going to be talking about Deftones and I'm talking about best slash worst songs on each Deftones album. Making a Deftones video while wearing my 90s Deftone shirt. Heck yeah, let's get into it. We must begin with the first album they released, Adrenaline, in 1995, and I believe the worst song on this whole entire album is the song Birthmark. Good instrumentals, but the high note around the 1 minute 30 mark kind of makes me cringe just a little bit. Drinks won't stain this birth, some of the lyrics within this song, and I must say, not my favorite outing by this band on a very courageous and energetic album. It's not the worst song in existence, it definitely isn't, but on this album, that is what I would have. Birthmark. The best song on Adrenaline, Engine Number 9. A while, 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 long, long time ago, I did not like the sort of rapping within this song and it kind of grew on me a lot. And once you get over that first bit of rapping, Chino Moreno enters this amazing melody, and that's one of my favorite things about Deftones and Chino Moreno. I believe that is his superpower, the ability to maintain and make these memorable melodies, catchy tunes. That's kind of the whole thing within Deftones that I really uh, 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 appreciate. That's the most enjoyable part about Deftones to me. Engine number nine, the best and my favorite song on this entire album. Not a bad album, by the way. Good start for Deftones. Moving on to the album Around the Fur, released in 1997. The worst song on Around the Fur is the song Labia. The instrumental to this song is good, but I get bored real quick and uh, it kind of sucks but that's kind of my stance on labia also i've noticed within the two first albums that i've talked about deftones talks a lot about boredom being bored the act of being boring being bored all that stuff they've said it so many times at this point when i was going through all the albums again and i just noticed it i thought it was very funny labia talks about dying of boredom in within the song adrenaline has a song called bored Birthmark on Adrenaline has lyrics that say, it's just me, I'm bored. The best song on this album is Be Quiet and Drive, Far Away, and a basic mainstream choice, and one of their most popular songs, which makes sense because it's very, very astronomical. I was kind of yo-yoing, is it yo-yoing, or, or going back and forth between Be Quiet and Drive, Far Away, and Die the Flu. Day of the Flu, I never know how to pronounce that, my bad. That bass line within Die the Flu, Day of the Flu, is so goddamn infectious. And everything within that song is addicting. I don't know, man. I, I could go with either one. I'm curious what you guys have in mind. Um, but yeah, that's that's kind of my, my, my around the fur takes. I wonder if people are going to get mad at me for that labia man. pick. Some people might pick MX, the last song on the album. Just because there's a humongous gap of nothing within that song, so it automatically turns people off. But the start of that song is ridiculous. So, yeah, man. I, I wouldn't say that's the worst song. But Labia, in my mind, the worst. Let's move on to the album White Pony, released in 2000. The worst song on this album, without a doubt to me, is Street Carp. And I say this because whenever I listen to that song, every time I listen to that song... I'm listening and I feel like there's two throwaway songs within this song that they just meshed together, put together, and kind of made it bad. It's a bad song. I don't like that song whatsoever. There's no redeeming qualities to me. It's a forgettable song in my opinion, so sorry if I offended the five street carp enjoying fans. And the best song on this album is Elite. And just like the song title, it is very elite. The screaming on that, ridiculous. The riff, the best part on here the screaming sometimes it's hit or miss sometimes that might be a hot take but on this song specifically chino moreno is having an absolute master class the band in general is having this unison that i really am in awe of so yeah man i i, I love that song ever since the first listen of that song i was totally 
reeled in and I understood the whole entire aura of Deftones. Time to move on to Deftones' self-titled album released in 2003. The worst song on this album, I don't really have this humongous negative feeling about, but my pick for the worst song on this album is Hexagram, and I liked a lot about this song, like the storytelling, the instrumentals were, you know, Deftones, it's good most of the time. That entire play and worship part kind of took me out a bit, but that's really the whole entire negative aspect of that song that I have. And in general, this album is so goddamn good. I mean, the production, lyrics, the different steps and sounds that they take, it's, it's, it's refreshing when you look at the previous albums that they have. This album is very different, kind of, and uh, I think it's it was a good step for the band at that time. The best song on this album, though, is the song Needles and Pins. It was either that song or When Girls Telephone Boys, because the wailing on that song that Chino Moreno presents is pretty hectic. Needles and Pins, though, right off the bat, just from that first, literally the first second within the song, boom, it got me. It totally got me. It sucked me in. Pause. Resume sucked me in this whole album i don't know if it's underrated i feel like a lot of people nowadays appreciate it a lot and back then i did not appreciate it a ton let's move on to the album saturday night wrist released in 2006 i got a couple choices for the worst song on here the first one i have is drive and let me talk about that before i talk about the next song drive has vocals that i'm not a big fan of the acoustic side to that song is nice i guess but the vocals kind of bring down the whole entire song for me. And the next worst song, it's tied for the worst song, is Rats, Rats, Rats. So Drive and Rats, Rats, Rats. Rats, Rats, Rats. Uh, the worst songs on this album, Rats, 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 has these screeching vocals that are not badass. They're kind of cringe. And what I mean by cringe is, it's not like this terrible sounding thing that makes you want to turn away. It's more so like I'm hearing these screeching vocals and I feel like that hurts so bad. It's kind of making me look away from the pain. It's a fork on a plate type of vibe. Now the best song on this album is Up Up Down Down Left Right Left Right A B Select Start. It's pretty much an amazing instrumental display by the band. I've been vocal again on this album and how I think it's bad. I think it's one of the worst Deftones albums and I stand by that. I don't think there's too many redeeming qualities on here. I mean there's some positives obviously it's not the worst album in in the world in existence all that jazz but I'd say it's probably one of the worst Deftones albums. Time to move on to the next album, Diamond Eyes, released in 2010. I was seriously going through this whole entire album trying to find that worst song, because sometimes it's very obvious, sometimes it's a little bit hard, and you're like, man, uh, there's not that many bad songs. And that's kind of one of the cases within this album. The worst song that I could find, listen to, was Rocket Skates. And looking at my notes, dude, there's just not that much of a serious negative note on that song. The riff is pretty catchy. It's really in your face. It's really, really dope, really hard. That guns, razors, knives line, though, is pretty funny and kind of cheesy. So that's why I got it as a worse song. It's really not that serious. The best song is Beauty School. A little bit past their prime, but at this point, I still feel like they're going crazy and upward. Let's move on to the next album, Koi no Yokan, released in 2012. 2012. 2012. 2012. The worst song on here is Graphic Nature. And I don't know why when I listened to the song, it felt kind of lifeless. I felt like there was just this part missing, a lot missing within this song. Not the whole album, but within this song that I felt kind of just like, whatever. Gotta skip it now. I listened to the whole thing, but I got to skip it because I'm listening to it. And it's just not, not for me, I guess. I don't feel that strong about it, but it felt lifeless. The riff is cool, but that's basically the norm for Deftones. They kind of provide those riffs for you right off the bat by default. The story with Thin felt kind of repetitive to other songs on different albums previous. So I don't know, man. It was just whatever. The best song on this album is Entombed. They really go for that spacious sound that space rock 
that hum influence is really seeping through and showing. Rapidly moving on to the next album, Gore, released in 2016. What a year. Do you guys remember 2016? I remember 2016. I was there. What a year. I would say the worst song on this album is Acid Hologram. A lot of people hate this album. I do not. I think there's a lot of good songs on this album. This song is not one of them, though. The best song on this album, a very overhated album, by the way, but the best song on this album is Doomed User. Chino is older at this point, but to me, he kind of makes a callback to that 1995 adrenaline energy. I know there were some years where people were kind of looking at Chino Moreno and were like, man, he's past his prime. It's quite unfortunate. But dude, listen to this song. Unreal. Bro is legit. Bro is generational. He's him. Also, the riff is pretty disgusting. But it's time to move on to the last album that we should talk about and can talk about because this is the last album released by Deftones in 2020. Ohms. The worst song on this album, The Spell of Mathematics. This whole album does give me a Halloween vibe. I don't know if it does for you guys, but to me, it has Halloween all over it. Darkness and demons and witchcraft, kind of. Spells. Stuff of that nature. It doesn't really work on this song, though. It kind of just, it's there. They talk about snakes, talk about poison, talk about spells. Mm, not for me. Not, nah. The best song on this album, though, is The Link Is Dead. And I just talked about how Doomed User off the album Gore reminded me of Adrenaline. Dude, this song is the epitome of that 1995 Adrenaline rush. See what I did there? I'm a genius. No, but literally, this could have been on that album. I listened to this song. You put that song on Adrenaline, it literally sounds not even out of place one bit. The vocal aspect felt very anger-filled, and that brought a smile to my face. I felt that energy. I felt that anger, angst, all that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I had a grand time. It was cool talking about some tunes with you guys. Let me know if you disagree, agree. I know most of you guys are going to disagree with me, and I totally understand. It is what it is. People have different uh, opinions. So, yeah. Like and subscribe. Keep the music alive. Deftones will never die.